hello guys welcome to the third part of this series and in this series we are going to set up uh, authorization middleware for our backend so in the previous video we have managed to generate json web token for our user now we have generated we have successfully managed to generate the json web token but we want some kind of middleware to verify whether the token is valid or not right so let's just uh, uh, jump directly into creating that middleware so i will create here a middleware directory and in this directory I will create a auth.js file and I am going to simply require the JWT in this uh, file and I am also going to require our user model and I will be explaining soon why I am requiring this user model so we will go up uh, one directory be before and require the user and we are going to re export a new function that is request response and next and we will be grabbing the auth header from our uh, request dot headers right because we are going to send the token along with our headers right so I am going to require our auth header auth header here so request dot headers dot authorization so we have required the auth header and we are going to check if this is present or not if auth header else we are simply going to return response dot status of 403 with a json message of error that is forbidden and if there is a auth header we are simply going to uh, grab the token from that so we are just going to write here auth header dot split and we are going to split on the basis of of a single space and we are going to grab the first element so you may be wondering what the heck did i did do here right so uh, whenever we pass the token we pass in this format like bearer and there goes our token so we are simply splitting this string with the basis of single space right so this is gonna return us two array of two elements right so first we'll have here this bearer and second we'll have our token and so does we are selecting the first element so this is starts from zero and this is one right so we are simply grabbing the token so now we have successfully managed to grab the token now let's verify this token whether this is correct or not so we'll write here jwt dot verify the token and we have to pass here the secret string so we have defined in the, our config dot n file so this is jwt secret and this is going to and this is this will have a asynchronous function and this will have an error and payload so if there were any error while verifying the token we are simply going to send back response with a status of 401 dot json of error of unauthorized right because if the token is invalid we are sending the status code of 401 which means unauthorized so we will simply send back the response of unauthorized but if that was right we are simply going to uh, get our payload back right so our payload will as you can remember our payload was this right that consists of id of the user right so we are going to now find the user on the basis of this id so we'll write here const user is equal to await user dot find one And I'm going to find on the basis of ID which will be equal to the payload or under, underscore ID and we are we don't want uh, the password field right so I will just remove the password which so this select uh, function takes an argument and the minus sign here indicates we don't want password in our field so this will return us our user and we are simply going to attach this user into the request.user and we are simply going to 
call the next function so this will jump onto our routes right so as you can see we have uh, used here await so this needs to be this needs to have try catch as well so I'll write it try catch error and I'll simply just console.log that error and I will cut this out and paste this out so I think it should work now so now let's create here a protected route let's go to the uh, app.js file and let's create here a route like app.get slash protected and we are going to require here protect route right so I will require here const auth is equal to require middleware and auth so now this middleware will be acting as our uh, uh, defender for our the pro for the route so we will have a request response and we are simply going to send back status of 200.json with the user of request.user if this uh, if this gets executed successfully it means our mm, our token was right so let's go to our postman and I will create here a new request and we'll go uh, we'll define here get request so http localhost 8000 slash protected and if I let send as you can see we are getting error of forbidden which means uh, we are not authorized yet right so we have to first go to the authorization we have to select the bearer oh firstly we have to let's generate our token so I'll go to the login API slash login and header will have the content type of application slash json and in the body we'll have raw we'll have your email and we'll have your password So this was the password I guess. Sorry, we need to make a post request here, right? As you can see, we are getting the token. So let me just copy it and define a new route here, okay? So I'll go to the localhost 8000 slash protected and in the authorization header, we are simply going to attach our bearer and we'll paste our token here and send back responses so as you can see we are now getting our user back so it means uh, our uh, auth middleware is working successfully as you can see right and if I'll do this expression expected okay so I have to do this request dot user because I don't want a more embedded data right so if I hit send here sorry it should be underscore doc if I hit send here as you can see we are getting uh, our user data back so let me uh, what happens if I make some changes in the token let's suppose for now so this is C and if I write here one and if I let send as you can see it is saying unauthorized uh, which means our auth middleware is working very fine and if I will hit again C and if I let send as you can see our uh, we are getting response in the form of ID which is our user ID so now we have uh, created our auth middleware for our backend we can use this now auth middleware to protect our various routes so now in the next video we will be working with react we will set up our basic uh, 
react app and we will be creating register page login page and we will be also uh, managing states of the user and implement login and logout functionality register and logout functionality right so i hope to see you in the next video